Kyong Temple is situated in Kyong Ward, Camphor Town, Kwang Nine Province. With the mountain at its back and the sea up front. Standing on the yard of the temple, you can see Bai Chu Long Bay. With hundreds of islands of all shapes and sizes, a densely populated valley. A mountain range in a distance running to Mangdong. According to the Feng Shu principles, Kyong Temple is located in the venue of good spirit which makes it the holy land. This area was often packed with warships, cargo ships and fishing boats. During the first years of the first century, as proven by archaeologists, it was located on the Silk Road, on the sea from Northeast Asia to the Middle East and Europe. From Kyong Temple, we can see Bai Chu Long Bay where Vietnamese dynasties set up custom station to supervise the area and collect tax. The estuary adopted the name Kyur Sarot. Kyurong or Kyur Sarot is well known in the history and the spiritual life of Vietnamese people via the two flights against Mongol invaders during 1284 to 1285 and during 1287 to 1288. Kyurong Temple is the place where Hung Hong Dai Vong Trang Kwok Tang is worshipped. As the son of Kwok Kong Theat Chi Hung Do Dai Vong Trang Kwok Chuan Nephew of Deputy General Trang Kandu, brother of Hung Vu Vong Kuok Hien, and Hung Tri Vong Kuok Hien, Hung Gong Vong Trang Kuok Tang, was a national hero in the two flights. He was assigned with the task of expanding and protecting the Yen Sin, the northeastern land of the country and it was also the land the king rewarded to his family. Hung Hong Vong Trang Kwok Tang was conferred with the title Thea Du Su Trung Fong De Ami. There is a saying that goes military generals become saints after they pass away. Those who worship generals in the Tran dynasty place his statue on the second layer after that of Tran Hung Do. As Hung Hong Vong Kwok Tang managed the eastern estuary, he is also called Duck Dong Hai Dai Vong, the tame Duck Dan, on Kyur's road Kyur Dong. So, people often pray to him like this. Duck on Dong Hai, the third ranking general comes back to the temple in a palanquin. Legend has it that he and Trang Khan do led the troops here and defeated. The fleet of food ships under the command of Truong Van Ho. The invaders, therefore, had no food to eat and were captured by our naval force. On the Beach Dang River. Trang Quang Tang Trang Quang Tran won glorious victory on the East Sea. In the two battles of the Tran dynasty against Mongol invaders. It is advisable to place the worshipping belief of Duck Dan on Kyo In the worshipping system for national heroes of the Vietnamese. The heroes were often deified after their death and worshipped in temples. The worshipping of such saints has more human values than that. Of deities of nature the deity of rain, the deity of thunder, the deity of lighting, etc. Who are assumed to have supernatural power.
people in an agricultural country like Vietnam often pray to the deities of nature for favorable weather. So these deities don't have much influence on people's thoughts and feelings. And they are and the bright examples for the people to follow. However, the saints who were national heroes become the spiritual support for people. People often pray to these saints for their help in various issues in life. Vietnam has an age-old tradition of filial piety. So, they respect and take care of their parents and grandparents. When they re-alive and hold the death anniversary, for them after they pass away. Filial piety in the community and the nation has the same principles. People should be grateful for those who performed great deeds. For the village and the nation. That is why national heroes were often deified after their death. The whole community worships and builds temples in their honor. Kurong Temple was built in that principle. It proves the gratitude of today's people for heroes in the past. Not only for Trang Quoc Tang but also for other well-known figures. In the Tran Dynasty. The worship of these generals shows how grateful the people are. For great contributors to the nation. In front of the temple is a two-story bell tower with concrete pillars, two four-sided roofs and curved dragon head eaves. The temple was built in the shape of Chinese character Gong, with three front halls, three connecting halls and three sanctuaries. Its rafters are simple without patterns. The temple is the place where Hung Hong Dai Vong Trang Quoc Tang, or Ong Dang Kyur Sarot is worshipped. Hung Do Dai Vong and other members in his family are all shite in the sanctuaries. On the left is the altar of Kum Sai Thiet Chi Ho Ankan. Behind the temple is the grave of Hung Hong Vong Trang Quoc Tang. People came here to offer incense to the general even when the temple was still only a small thatched temple. Going through so many ups and downs, Kyong Temple is well known for its sacredness and attracts a lot of visitors, because it is also the place where they can worship the two tutelary gods. Here in Kyong Temple, people worship Trung Thien Long Emma Yu, who founded the area.
Kam Sai Dong Do Thiet Sia Chi Ho Ankan, who fought against invaders to protect locals and other generals and mandarins in the Tran Dynasty. These generals expanded and protected the coastal land of Yensin. And after their deaths, they became tutelary gods. Thirty-four statues of various sizes with elaborate carving patterns can be found here. This is perhaps the only temple where all members of Trang S family and his closest subordinates are all shiked. Sculptors in the past created lively works that describe precisely the look and soul of the statues. In particular, they dated back a long time ago and were cast with rare materials. These statues remain almost unchanged today, thus facilitating the work of scientists and researchers in such field as fine arts, history and culture. Thanks to a large number of vivid objects, Kyong Temple can be likened to a museum that introduces to tourists the family background and career of generals in the Tran Dynasty and their fight against Mongol invaders. Over seven centuries ago, the lower temple worships the goddesses of the four palaces of the universe Chupu, the three goddesses the goddess of the heaven, the goddess of the earth and the goddess of the water, the jade emperor, Crux and the five mandarins. Kyong Temple has both tangible and intangible values. Shown in its annual festival. Kyong Temple Festival is imbued with traditional belief. It is organized and attended by locals in camphor and nearby areas. The festival takes places in spring from the New Year's Eve to the end of the third lunar month and autumn from the 16th day to the end of the eighth lunar month. In particular, the main festival days start from the third day of the second lunar month with special procession ritual, showing the hope of people across the nation. Kyong Temple is now a spiritual venue of not only Kwang nine people, but also people nationwide. In particular, Vietnamese expats feel so moved when they come to the temple in their motherland. Nowadays, we are sparing no efforts for the sustainable sea economic development strategy. Hung Hong Dai Vong Trang Quoc Tang who defended Cure Sarut over 700 years ago left us many lessons. The special point is that the Kyong relic complex is situated near Halong Bay the cultural heritage and wonder of the world in Van Donna district which is experiencing steady changes to become an economic zone and exclusive tourism area. Therefore, the local authorities should pay greater attention to renovating the site to elevate it to be on a par with its position as the center of two key tourism areas of Quang 9.